Triple Seven, and today I'm doing a video review slash a tutorial on Mountain Lion Skin Pack. Um, transforms Windows Seven and XP to Mountain Osis Lion. As you guys can see in this picture below, it looks pretty legit. We got a uh, custom um, everything, custom login screen. It's a very simple install, guys. Um, it's actually requested by one of my uh, subscribers on a different video. Asked if I could do a Mac transformation video, so I decided that I would do it for him. So enough of the looking. So to download this, guys, go to the link in the description below, and you'll get to this little page right here with the smell of pictures. And if you go down to the bottom here, we have uh, two different. Uh, installers we have the offline and we have the online the online installers actually recommended so that's what we'll be doing um, okay so you need to know uh, if you're running XP open XP right there if you're running uh, 107 you're gonna have to either open x64 or x86 now yes it does make a difference um, go to your start menu and right click on the computer and right here, it should tell you whether yours is a 64 bit or 32 bit. Mine's a 64, so I'll be going to the x64. If yours is a 32 bit, go to x x86. So I'll click on my corresponding one. And now it's done. So just run it. Close everything else. All the online installers is I believe it actually just downloads it. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna have a. it's gonna ask you if you want to install some toolbar. Just go to custom and get rid of all those things and next. Uncheck that. Now it's gonna download the latest version. So the reason we did the online one was it's gonna download it directly from the website. And it's gonna have the latest bugs and fixes. The offline edition um, has all you download all the files right off the bat, and then it installs them all. So they might release a uh, quick fix overnight, and it'll go straight into the online edition, whereas it might take a couple weeks to go into the offline edition. So we're just finishing up here, guys, with the download. Last bar. So after it is uh, downloaded, it will go away for a second and pop up with the um, installation skin. So we have the clean setup, just click next. Accept the license terms, next. Now this is where we're going to get to customize what you want. Um, not, no matter what, leave the UX theme patched. Now if you open up files, you guys can go through and see which ones you want to patch. Um, I suggest leaving them all checked. If you uncheck certain ones, then it's going to, uh, how I say this, take away from the look. So the, all, the, the if you leave them all on, that's the best look. Uh, comes with custom boot screen, so you might want to save that if you don't want the custom boot screen. Custom login screen, uh, rock dock, everything you can think of. And because we're going to be doing that, and I want my, my rock dock at the bottom and my Mac dock at the top. I'm going to put my Mac dock up there for now, or sorry, my dock up there now. So once you've chosen everything you want, so I'm going to leave everything checked, uh, I suggest the same for you guys. Click install. Now obviously guys, the, long, the more you pick, the longer it's going to take. So uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I will be pausing the recording and then continuing as soon as it's done, where it's going to ask us to restart. Um, so I'm going to pause and I'll be showing you guys back when it's almost done. Alright, so it's going pretty fast, guys. Um, as you guys can see at the top, near the top, guys, it's actually. Um, you can hear my freeze a bit during this process. Um, it's installing the custom DL files. And here at the bottom, it's installing the custom screensaver, WinRoll, Rocket Doc, etc. So we're almost done. Looks like uh, shouldn't 
take too much longer. Another thing I have noticed already, guys, is the sounds. Um, the sounds have already been default or changed. Sorry. So now I hear a little bit of a little popping sound when I click on stuff, and especially when I'm pausing the recording. So that's a little cool feature. Looks like last but not least is installing the boot screen, which will probably take the longest. The uh, boot screen is actually a blue bar going through a uh, not a bar, and it has the Apple sign. I believe it says, start, I believe it says starting Mac OS X. And the bottom um, says "Little Apple Corporation." I will ha after we restart, guys. I'm going to have a short video showing the boot up, and then the custom login screen. So, uh, and then we'll back to the actual setup. So, um, to refresh in the icons, it's now done. So now it gives us the option to root now or root manually later. I highly suggest you're rooting now, and um, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I will continue, you guys, with the installation once the computer boots. All right, and we're back. So that was a pretty cool uh, boot animation. Sorry for the bad quality. I had to record that with my Android tablet. Um, so this is what you guys can get right off the bat. So you're gonna have a pretty sweet background with a uh, excellent Rocky Duck theme that I think matches the real dock um, very well. We have X Launchpad, which um, is a program that m mimics the OS X Launchpad. Um, so there's it there, guys. So you can see, you guys can see, you guys are actually allowed to uh, put apps there. And there's more. You can slide like this. I actually did a review on this program um, a while back, and it comes installed. So there's a bunch of different uh, widgets that can also come installed. They um, magically appear on the desktop without even you doing anything. You guys can actually completely customize these widgets um, from how they look to what they do. You guys can completely customize them by right-clicking and edit. Along with uh, the look is the actions. Um, it's hard to explain. You have to see it for yourself. But the way it acts is much like the uh, Mac itself. We have the new icons. We have a. Uh, so I actually really like the, the job they did with these icons right here. The um, System properties window has also been modified. We have the Mac OS is line in the corner. Control panel also modified. And it's a really great um, job. This is the one thing that will probably pop up right away. This is where you guys can just go through and you can look at other widgets too. Um, we got Notepad, which you got, all these things you guys can actually close. You know, if you don't like it, you can just close it. So it's really cool guys, um, I should just check in it out for sure. So you guys can see, with the iCloud, we got Twitter, which all all Twitter is guys is in, uh, just a link to the Twitter website. So again guys, this is a pretty cool theme, we have dog settings right here. Um, it is a little laggy on my computer, because my computer is not the greatest, and um, we got a recording software going so but guys check the theme out it's a great theme um, I suggest uh, downloading it so that's what it is for this video guys I hope you guys like the video um, please leave more comments and questions or anything you guys have uh, l let me know um, like I said this video was suggested by all my subscribers I love doing videos that you guys suggest because I know you're gonna watch it so uh, it looks like we just got something on top we just got uh, finally it loaded. So we actually get the uh, Mac top there. Now uh, that's part of the program obviously and I believe my computer is being backed up because it's also running a scan thing so that's my fault. But um, again guys like please like the video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns you guys can leave me a message in the description below 
or uh, do anything along those lines. Besides, besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker Chip 7 and I'm signing off.